And there we have it guys. So today is the day that Amazon have now blocked my update blocker, which means we have no way of stopping Amazon pushing changes, pushing updates to our devices. And today it's the update blocker. Tomorrow it may be custom launchers. In the future, it may be third party applications. Now, if you don't know what the update blocker is, now the TDUK update blocker is one of my all time popular toolboxes. Now this was created for a very specific purpose which is to block Amazon system updates. So as you can imagine, Amazon are constantly pushing changes to our device, whether we like it or not, everything from the new home screen to sponsored content to promoted applications, all of that can be pushed to your device without requiring any approval from you. And this is exactly where the update blocker would come into effect where you download this from our website, install this on your Fire Stick or any Amazon device, open it and then with one click you could block all system updates from Amazon. But unfortunately with the latest update for Fire OS 6 we can see if I now try to use this application, click on connect and let's say I want to now block updates on this Amazon 4K Fire Stick. Let's click on block and it should now go ahead and disable these three processes but we can see now guys it's telling us that it cannot disable the last two because Amazon have now protected those packages. And what that means is Amazon will no longer allow us to disable those two packages. And without those two packages, we have no way of stopping those updates. And it just shows you guys, Amazon are clearly watching what the community are doing. They're seeing that these people are now blocking updates on their devices. Amazon are not happy with that. They don't want us to have that kind of control on our devices, even though we've purchased them. And they are now systematically going through and blocking us having that control. And just to confirm on my Fire OS 6 device, we can see it is running version 6.2.8.1. So if you already have this version on your device, you no longer have any way of blocking those updates. If you do have an older version and you want to ensure that Amazon don't make any changes to your device, don't push you any changes to the home screen or sponsored content or anything like that, install my update blocker and you can block those changes coming in. Now on the Fire OS 7 devices, like the second generation Fire TV Cube or the Fire Stick Lite or the brand new Fire Stick Max, let's jump over to that device now. Let's start the update blocker. And if any of you guys are still here with me then, if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Amazon then, I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Let's click on connect. Uh, let's click on we can see this is fire os 7 let's click on block and we can see on this device those three packages can be disabled we don't get any errors that they're protected and we can now verify this by going to settings going to my fire tv clicking on about and when i click on check for updates we can see we can update errors so so on fire os 7 even with the latest update you can still use my update blocker and block any future updates but we can see that the way things have happened on the Fire OS 6 device, it's only a matter of time before they push this on Fire OS 7. So it is unfortunate and it does show you that Amazon are monitoring what's happening in the community. So today it's the update blocker, tomorrow it may be custom launchers and the next day it may even be third party applications. So that's all for this video guys, many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below, let me know what you think about this change. Can you see Amazon getting more and more stricter with these customizations that we do and potentially even blocking more things in the future? So do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.